Congratulations on beating estimates. If we look back at these numbers, back in September, you said you had no regrets with regards to the Monsanto purchase. But given the fall in the share price and given the legal challenges that you now face, do you still have no regrets? So first of all, good morning and uh, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I uh, can only repeat what I said in September. We are very happy to now finally start with the integration. You've seen uh, a good second, uh, third quarter of the company overall. We have uh, confirmed guidance and uh, in terms of our legal challenges, uh, we are very comfortable that uh, in the end uh, the science and uh, the facts will prevail. So we are quite optimistic going forward for the business overall and also for the litigation at hand. Werner, I often bring up uh, just a five-year look at a company's stock versus competitors just to try and uh, keep a, a time frame uh, set for every CEO I talk to. When I look at Bayer versus Novartis, Roche, uh, Glaxo, Sanofi, the DAX, it's a disappointing picture. I mean, investors over the last five years are losing money um, with Bayer, and it seems all down to the Monsanto acquisition because it's just come off gains in the past six months. How is this going to be turned around and when? So uh, we are not happy at all with uh, where our stock is. Uh, yeah, that is totally clear. And uh, I can only tell you that uh, all of us in the company are working very hard uh, in order to uh, actually show the value of the company because uh, right now, uh, and you pointed it out, is actually not uh, relative to Monsanto, but very specifically down to the significant uh, uncertainties that the market see uh, in uh, the glyphosate litigation that weighs heavily on the stock. The underlying company is doing well. You've seen a strong third quarter overall. We have confirmed guidance. We are looking optimistically into the future. And uh, we are quite confident that uh, uh, in the end, uh, we will also see the intrinsic value in the stock come back uh, uh, into the valuation. So you're confident, Werner. Are shareholders confident in what you've done putting together this business? Are you hearing from any big investors that they would like to see a split within Bayer, a pharma company on the one hand, an agriculture company on the other? Are any investors having that conversation with you at the moment? Well, uh, we are executing on the strategy we communicated uh, at the end of 2014. We are making diligent progress in terms of building the leading life sciences company uh, in the world uh, and the combination of our crop protection business with uh, the business of Monsanto is a major step into that direction. Uh, this is hands down the by far best company in the world if you look at the X space. Uh, our crop business performs well, our pharma business performs performs well. We are actually making progress with our consumer health business and uh, that is what uh, uh, the company stands for. Is, I mean, you mentioned this morning in uh, your earnings um, discussions that the forecast for animal health and consumer health are looking harder and harder to meet. Would, could, would you consider spinning those divisions off, putting them up for sale, somehow separating them from the, the core business? Well, Matthew, uh, we should not uh, uh, combine a, an operational discussion there where we are looking at the last three months of the year to go with uh, strategic considerations. Uh, if I look at uh, the year overall, uh, we have confirmed uh, our guidance uh, in a particularly volatile market uh, environment where a lot of companies have taken their guidances down. We have confirmed, we are confident that we are going to reach our guidance and uh, some challenges, smaller challenges, I will say, that we have have uh, in uh, uh, reaching our um, guidances for the sub-segments, consumer health and animal health, uh, will be compensated by the rest of the group. Uh, you've mentioned how you, what you're trying to do, Werner, in, in bringing in, you know, about shareholder value from the business. But are all investors convinced about how the business is made up at the moment? Are you having to convince them that it's a good idea to keep pharma and agriculture together? Or, do, or are they already convinced? <coughs> 
Well, I can, I can only come back to what I said earlier. We are executing on the strategy we communicated back in September 2014. We've made good progress. Uh, there's a Capital Markets Day upcoming uh, uh, in a few weeks from now where we are going to share the further strategic development, but also our operational and also the aspirational targets that we have set ourselves for the next few years to come. And uh, I'm sure that uh, all of our uh, investors uh, and also the analysts are very much looking forward to that date and to the discussion we are going to have actually in London on uh, December 5th.